House Republicans will meet behind closed doors tonight to hear pitches from candidates looking to become the next speaker. And guess what? It's back to square one. Nine new Republican candidates are competing for the job after Republicans voted to drop Congressman Jim Jordan last week. Oklahoma Congressman Kevin Hearn is one of them, and he joins us now. Congressman, good morning to you. So you want the job as House Speaker. So do eight of your colleagues. What is your path forward to getting 217 votes and securing this position? Well, certainly everyone is going to say that they can do it, but the question will be who has actually brought people together. Uh, I spent 25 years in business working with the largest brand in the world, McDonald's, bringing 3,500 franchisees together all over the country to, to pull on the same rope, so to speak, and then taking that experience when I came to Congress. And this year, I've led the Republican Study Committee, which is a caucus of all the other caucuses, and also served on Speaker McCarthy's five caucus uh, teams. So I know all the issues that are out there. I've been involved in all of them since we became in the majority. You actually have to know what the problems are before you can come up with a solution. And I think I'm best fit to do that. But, Congressman, are you prepared to say is enough is enough and throw your support behind another candidate if it does appear that that other candidate has the votes to win and you do not? Absolutely. I follow the rules. Uh, when uh, Leader Scalise got the votes, I followed him. I took him when I was going to vote for him on the floor. I uh, obviously didn't go to the floor. Uh, Jim Jordan, I uh, did one of his nominating speeches. I uh, followed him on the floor, voted for him three times. I think that is exactly what we have to do. We've all committed to that. And if, without that, you have anarchy, and uh, we can't keep doing what we're doing right now. The world needs the House back open. With what we're seeing around the world, it's imperative that we get the Republican Party back in charge and America back in its leadership position. Oh, isn't that the truth? And when Congress finally does have a speaker. President Biden is asking Congress to pass $100 billion in uh, funding both to Ukraine and Israel. And some Republicans have said that those two conflicts shouldn't be tied together. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell disagrees. Here he is on Fox News Sunday. Listen to this. The Iranians are a threat to us as well. And so this is an emergency. It's an emergency that we step up and deal with this axis of evil, China, Russia, Iran, because it's an immediate threat to the United States. We need to view this as a worldwide problem. So he says that these conflicts are tied together because Russia and Iran are allies. And if they win either of these wars, they become stronger. How do you feel about that? And also, do you support this $100 billion aid package? Well, first, I agree with the leader. These are the axis of evil. They have been for a long time. And, you know, the United States has always led uh, peace through strength, not war through weakness, which is what we're seeing under the Biden administration since the pullout in August of 2000 or 2021. And what we've seen is everything proliferate from that point in time. You know, when we look at the package, we need to get Israel the support immediately to send a message to the Middle East. This place is blowing up literally from Gaza to the north to the West Bank. We've got to get them strength right now, and that's going to require peeling that off, doing that. We can have the debate on Ukraine. Uh, we're losing Republican support. We need to have ideas, you know, where the money's going, what the strategy is there. And I would argue that we also should look at the southern border of our United States of America, where, uh, you know, since the Biden administration came into play, we've had over 300 known terrorists cross the southern border, you know, potentially having sleeper cells here in our own country. We need to tie the southern border to Ukraine. Yeah, Congressman, it does appear like the administration is acting like it cares about foreign terrorism, at least in some of the releases that we've seen so far. But until they solve the problem, basically just enforce the law at the border, nothing is going to change. And we're still going to be in major trouble because we have people that shouldn't be here crossing. We don't want them here. Congressman Kevin Hearn, thank you for your time this morning.